That was harder than I wanted it to be. That's my heart rate. It's at 167. I can't be healthy. Look at, look at the old people coming up behind <laughs> me, like not, not stopping, they're fine. We are Ben and Rach, and we're spending our vacation time hiking 102 miles in nine days. We wanted to celebrate entering our 30s, and what better way than with a challenge? And oh boy, has it been a challenge. Blisters, sheep trying to eat our lunch, and sweating a whole lot. Come along as we hike the Cotswold Way. Day one, starting in Chipping Camden, going 100 miles, 102 miles, I think, to... Today? Bath. No, you dangus. Chipping Camden to Stanton. Yep. Reach carrying a backpack, so this one's Rachel's. In here, she's got shoes, we've got a couple snacks, she's got a backup pair of socks. She has our first aid kit, which is mainly blister bandages, but this is also kind of a, a more comprehensive first aid kit, just in case we need it. And she's got all the camera gear also, so tripod, accessories, chargers, yada yada. We went through a company where they set up hotels for you to stay in the whole way down, and they basically set your itinerary for you. But with your input, you know, you tell them how long, if there are any certain things you want to see, all that stuff. They do a pretty good job of working for you. The company is actually going to handle transferring that suitcase from stay to stay. So we don't have to worry about dealing with that. So because of that, we definitely way overpacked, but it's all good. I'm wearing my hiking boots, but I'm also packing my, my tennis shoes just in case for some reason I get blisters or I step in mud. Another thing we discovered on our last trip was when you... When you get to pubs, most people have walked through the mud. So there's a place where you can either clean your boots off or leave them. So this way we can just leave our boots outside, put our tennis shoes on, clean shoes, walk in, grab a pint, and not uh, track mud anywhere. Snacks, camera gear, yeah. You excited? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> well, save the tears for after breakfast. They're gonna think you hit the food. I'm uh... Not quite ready for this. I'm definitely gonna cry a little bit, I think. Uh, we just finished breakfast. Met the loveliest couple <laughs> from North Carolina who we're having dinner with tonight. They are doing the exact same walk we are, with one exception. They're, um, they're staying one extra night in Painswick, whereas we're just gonna walk straight through. So nice. They're about to start the walk and so are we. <laughs> And this is it, the Cotswold Way. It says beginning and end, so you can either start or end here. All right, thoughts, feelings before we go. At this point, I'm just ready to get it going. You're supposed to tap this. Tap it? Yes. For good luck? Just stand in here. <laughs> I'm starting, this is the beginning. And then you have to tap this. Tap. All right. I'm only tearing up a little. <laughs> We're literally taking the first steps. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a walk, but I'm gonna I'm cry. Tired. Can we take a break? I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> this is gonna be beautiful, surreal. Dare I say life changing? Only time will tell. Feeling really good right now. At the end of today, at the end of 10 miles, we'll see how I feel. I think we'll be okay at the end of today. I think the if there's the test it's going to be like <laughs> closer to midweek we're, we're late in it okay so we have maps we have gps that we can use I'm not trying to touch any of that my goal is to get through this whole walk only using these markers that they've got the whole way down the acorn is kind of the the logo or the symbol for the Cotswold way so we should be seeing stickers and other little markers with that acorn on it with an arrow point us in the right direction the whole way let's see if they're good for 100 miles Doing all right there? Can you help me? What are you trying to do? Get the book out. We were sent a guidebook which has so much information about plants and birds and the trail and the towns and pictures, safety, where toilets are, what restaurants to go to, all in this. So as we walk, we'll be checking this, looking at trees. Looking at birds, looking at signs.
Hmm. It's a rock rose. <laughs> Wait, what kind of berries? Try one. It's a blackberry. You can't just eat blackberries. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Don't eat that. That is a delicious looking blackberry. Actually, that one does look good. All right. Cheers. Mmm, mm, that's good. Oh, no. When you see a blackberry, Shut up. do not eat the blackberry. It's in the book, Ben. Huh? The first six miles stretch of the Cotswold Way is open hills and it's a great introduction to the trail as a whole. La 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 la. A gradual ascent, gradual, leads to Dover Hill at 738 feet, the first of many high points along the walk. We are going to the second highest point, which is Broccoli Tower. We're only 20 minutes into this hike. Uh, and you get so focused on just moving forward that you forget to look behind you. And just look at our view. Like this is unbelievable. And what's even better is you can do this, this hike either way. So if you're walking from Bath to here, this is what you see when you're about to finish. Can you imagine this was your, your victory lap? I wish I could describe it better and I wish I could show it better, but it is, it is something else out here. You gotta watch out for all the, the landmines, the sheep poop when you're walking up Dover's Hill. There's a flock of sheep sitting in the middle of the trail. There's one guy that's watching us. I know. All right, we'll give him a wide berth. Now, if there's anything I've learned from watching Clarkson's farm, I think the little paint marks have something to do with their, um, the mating process. One's marked in purple, indicates that they'd been, uh, what do you call it? I guess mounted. So we've been taking a lot of pictures of the sheep. People are just walking by and Ben said, this is the equivalent to like in Orlando, people from other countries will take pictures of squirrels and lizards. And we sit back and we laugh, but here we are like, wow, sheep. And they're just like crazy Americans. So we are. Right. Speaking of sheep, the history on the Cotswolds outsource. Basically their whole economy was built around wool. There was some saying back in the day about the best wool comes from England and the best English wool is, is Cotswold. Since, you know, the Cotswolds really have been a thing, it's been wool and sheep. And so there's just, there's sheep everywhere. This is all, like, it's all farmland. It's sheep and cows. We've been walking for about an hour. I'm curious how many miles we've done so far. Probably just one. Yeah, not many. But we've been uh, making a lot of stops. We've been taking lots of pictures of sheep. <laughs> Landed <laughs> right on me. And you? Yes, we are walking through people's farms and land. That is what the Cotswolds Way is. You will walk through towns, farms, backyards, gardens, and it's totally okay. It feels very strange, but that is how it's done here. There are some regulations regarding these walls that you'll see everywhere where if you look closely it's literally there's no mortar or anything it's just these flat rocks that are kind of piled on top of each other and then over time there's like moss that builds in and i'm sure that helps hold it together but it's a, a really unique and specific skill set to be able to build these walls apparently i read it's something like they can only really build like six or seven meters in a day of wall because they literally just have like a huge pile of rocks and they're just it's a it's a jigsaw they're they're playing tetris they look beautiful they hold up i guess sometimes you have to deal with sheep knocking these things over but that's just uh, a part of farm life out here 
Take it all in. Beautiful. Another gate. Another gate. Thank you. Whoa. That's good. That one was sour. <laughs> wow. Sorry. That one tasted like that one tasted like, honestly like a like a blue raspberry uh, warhead. Found a bathroom. Happy because I was definitely gonna pee in the ones. <laughs> but yeah, two and a half miles in. Nice little stop. And we continue on. Two miles to Broadway. Looks like we're about to pass a very busy road. So we can Turned off. So we can go. Yep. And go. I'm clear. Those are our friends, so we know A, we're going the right way, and B, we're on time. <laughs> We are coming up to Broadway Tower. You can see, probably not right now, yeah. but the very top of it is just over this hill. We're very, very close. Feels like we're in the Shire. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. This is where uh, King Arthur held court with his Knights of the Round Table. It's also where they filmed Braveheart. Is it? No. I got real sweaty real quick. <laughs> Hi, Nugget. Hi. No escaping. How are you getting here? All right, Ben, do you want to climb the stairs? I will if you will. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Put it on you. It's actually not that high. No, it's not. Not too bad. Do you want to? No. Okay. It doesn't sound like there's really a crazy backstory to it. There was a, an architect. His name was Capability Brown, but it had that in quotes, so maybe that was a nickname. And it was presented as essentially a gift to an earl, the sixth earl of, you know, sandwich, something like that. <laughs> late 1700s and it was kind of built as a, a gift and just served as a uh, a destination for some pretty epic views yeah you know they got it right we got this great little guide that tells you all the elevation changes so you see we're at broadway tower now we're walking all the way down to broadway and then i believe we end in stanton so a little bit more of a hike after lunch da -da -da. Da -da 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 da da I feel like I can see the town where we're about to have lunch and a pint, yeah. Don't get any ideas. Come on, it can't be that much. Uh. Not a bad way to uh, celebrate the first five miles. We didn't get lunch, we didn't get our drinks, but we're gonna find a sandwich and eat on the way. Everything feels just a little bit heavier. My feet hurt just a little bit more. I'm scared. I think Ben's scared for me too. We'll be fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got a pastrami with whole grain mustard and it's a salad. I'm assuming it's just the one that's on Broadway is a little bit more hustle and bustle than I thought. There's like a like a tour bus. That's probably to go up to the Broadway Tower so you don't have to do the hike. But it's a lot busier than Chipping Camden. Although I did yeah. read this is more like a, a tourist spot, so I think this is about as hustle and bustle as it uh, as it gets. Okay. Yeah. yeah.
How you doing there, Chief? That was harder than I wanted to be. That's my heart rate. I said 167. That can't be healthy. Well, no, it's good to exercise. Wow, that's great. Look at, look at the old people coming up behind <laughs> me, like not, not stopping to find. This is just another Sunday for them. I'll call them old, that's kind of rude. Mm -hmm. We just walked past that church. Oh. That's crazy. It's crazy that we covered that much ground in the last five minutes. I don't understand hiking. Okay. All right, that was a nice little climb. How you doing back there, Rach? Do you wanna know my heart rate? <laughs> I'm afraid to ask, but I think that was the, I'll say the worst of it, but you know, that was the, the brunt of that climb. We should be heading back downhill pretty soon. You good? We just realized we got through Broadway without really saying anything about Broadway. Oh, I have, I have information. Oh, here we go. Let's hear it. Uh, it's named for its wide central street. So, Broadway. Okay. It was huge. Yes. High number of visitors. Yep. Yeah. There's a couple museums, a few art galleries, yep. a church, which we went through. Yep. Broadway Tower. Broadway Tower. But, Broadway Tower. We were, I mean, we were there. You can't beat these views. I have no idea if you can see Broadway Tower back there. But it is poking up. It's good stuff. Yeah, my yeah, yeah, nailed it. It's heavier. <laughs> Backpack and a lot of soreness. Cotswold Way, Stanton, one and a quarter. All right, home stretch. <clears throat> Let's go. That, the one? Oh, that, that was a good one. Day one of walking is coming to an end. Rachel, thoughts? Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Yeah, it was, it wasn't harder than I thought, but it was hotter than I thought. It ended up being more of a challenge than I thought yeah. it would be. But I think that was because mostly due to the heat, it is, I mean, it's not Florida, but it is much hotter than I thought it would be. Horse whisperer over here. Am I a horse girl? No, I called you a horse whisperer. Oh. Feet doing okay. Rich had to do a, a shoe change at about the midway point. Then we've got a taxi picking us up to drive us back to Chip and Camden where we sleep. And then it's going to take us back here in the morning and then we'll continue on. We weren't able to get uh, accommodations here in Stanton, but we are. Looking forward to one more night in Chipping Camden. It's a really great town. Got some great pubs and restaurants and stuff. Let's get to Stanton. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hot. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Really hot today. Hot. He's hot. He's riding a dang horse. <laughs> We've been walking all day. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one that's burning up and looking forward to that beer at the end of the day. This looks like a town to me. We're at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> oh. We got 15 one day and 13 or not. Mm -hmm. We made it. It was so hard. <laughs> it was okay. so fun, but that was hard. Look at my feet. They're raw. Fun day. Made some friends. Really beautiful views. A couple good pints. Just being out in nature. And it's so different. It's such a different, you know, it's all like meadows. I'm sure we have that somewhere in the States, but in Florida, we don't have anything like that. It's amazing. 
Okay, so we did 28,000 steps. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, I just got my socks off. <laughs> that feels amazing. Do you have blisters? No. Oh, lucky? I'm not gonna subject anyone to looking at that, but oh, that feels amazing. I'm just gonna prop these bad boys up here. 11.6 <laughs> miles. Do um, you have to describe today in one word? Just hot, I think. That's the word you're gonna choose for this whole day. That I'm not was, saying it's the wrong that word. That was my but... big takeaway. I mean, yeah, you know, beautiful views and all that, but man, it was hot. All right, what's yours? Maybe I can think of a better one. What are you gonna say, beauty? No. Elegant, serene. Take all the, the good one Shut words. Up. Shut up about the sun. <laughs> one day in the books, we're gonna have dinner with our new friends tonight. Um, Going for an English classic Sunday roast. But that's it for for today for us. Come back for day two. Do we survive? How many miles is tomorrow? 13 and a half. We're going through to Cleve Hill tomorrow. And Cleve Hill is where we end. So that tells me that we're going to end the day with a big old climb. It's going to be tough. Yeah. You should probably have an extra pint tonight for, for good luck. I like yeah. it. Okay. Good day. Good. Good. Okay, good night. Taking a shower, man. I feel gross. This is terrible. Why do this? Why would anyone do this to themselves?